In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get gallery view in Zoom if you're using the web version and not the full downloaded program. Coming right up. Hey dancers, welcome to Dance Tech with Jay Sue, the channel where dancers become more proficient and efficient in the digital space. Now, if you've been using Zoom's web-based program, whether that's because you're on a Chromebook and you can't download the full app, or you don't have the space on your computer, you might have realized it's really limited in functionality. The biggest one is, by default, you're in speaker view and there's no option for gallery view. So if you're teaching, you can't see all of your students at once. I didn't realize this was an issue until I had a friend reach out to me, but we figured it out and here's the solution we came up with. And for today's video, I would love to know in the comments if you prefer teaching with grid view or speaker view. Especially speaker view, I would love to hear how you use it when you teach. Okay, so if you were to use the web browser version that Zoom gives you, this is how it would work. We would host meeting, video on, up here, you could join from your browser. If you don't even see this, you'd have to enable it in your settings, but you don't even worry about this because this is not a good way to do it. I'm just gonna show you what it is to prove a point. So you log in. And I've actually noticed often I have problems getting my video to work. I'll click here and it says it's being occupied when nothing is using it. So I don't like this version. However, I will join this meeting from my laptop real quick to show you something. So give me a moment. Okay, so this is actually my laptop on the side and this is not a good demo because if my desktop if my desktop camera was working, it would be more obvious. But as you can see, I'm stuck in speaker view. There's no way, there's nothing up here where I can switch to gallery view. So if I'm talking, I'm gonna show up because my camera is off here. It's not gonna come on and or switch speakers, but this is the problem with using the web version of Zoom as it is. So instead, what you should do is download the Google Chrome Zoom extension, and that is what allows you to get gallery view. It's very easy to do, it's free. So let me show you how to do that real quick. All you need to do is type in Google Chrome Zoom extension. Then you'll go to the second one here. Now here I've already installed it, but here we just say add to Google Chrome basically. And then all you have to do is hit launch app and boom, this looks way different, right? Now here I can sign in. So now I can start a meeting. Now I could also join an already existing meeting over here. And look, my camera works. I don't know why the other version, I didn't change anything. So this works, All right? So, and oh, look at this, we got gallery view. So let me join again from my laptop so I can show you what this looks like. Okay, so now my laptop is also joined in. As you can see by default, it is speaker view. But now if I go click gallery view, I can see everyone in the grid. And if you go to settings, for video, you have the option to hide non-video participants. And remember, mirror effect, it doesn't actually do anything. If you click it, it fixes it for you, but your students don't see it flipped. Uh, and if you wanna see that video I made about Snap Camera, you can check it out in the uh, end cards up above. But if you are using something like a Chromebook to teach, you're not going to be able to download Snap Camera. So just a heads up. Also for audio, you still have very limited audio settings, but I would at least uncheck automatically adjust microphone volume. Now again, this is not ideal. If you're trying to play music through a speaker, it's still not gonna work great, uh, but at least you have grid view now, so you can use that. You can also still share. So if I shared my desktop here, but there's no share computer sound. So again, it's more limited in its functionality. But that's basically it. So you want to use the Chrome extension instead of the default web browser version of Zoom, and you're good to go. Now a bonus tip, if you don't want to have to type this in every single time to find where this lives, if you go up here to apps, it'll take you to your like app home screen and it's right here. You can click on it and it will launch. Now, if you don't see this app button, you're gonna wanna right click here and show app shortcut. So if I do that, it goes away. Here, shows up again. If you don't see it here for some reason, then you can click down here or on the right-hand side with the arrows 
there's a second tab for some reason and you can always click and drag to bring it to the main window and it'll be here the whole time you can also right click create shortcut start menu or desktop now if I go to desktop you'll see here on my desktop there's a shortcut to the web version versus this is for the regular version looks a little bit different if I click this regular version it pulls up my usual zoom app if I click this one it takes me to the web version and there you go that's it for this video everyone I hope you found it helpful make sure you like this video hit the subscribe button so you know when new videos come out and I'll see you next time five six seven eight